and Lieutenant Alexander. They'll be the next few to load, just about ready to race. Last of the day. Gates are open and they sent on their way. Not a bad start for them. Life on Mars beginning well along the rail with Donnie T back in second, American Dream three wide. And on the outside of those runners, there's Lieutenant Alexander going widest of all. Coastal path is between runners. Then came Transact, the red cap, blue body at the fence, followed by Euphoric. Then we go a length and a half back there to Timbavati River. Silver Tycoon gets punched along. Then came Grey Smoke and racing towards the back end of the field there, we've got sail the sky and twice to heaven races at the back there's around 10 lengths from first to last as they go around the bend 800 meters left to go and life on mars narrowly in front by a neck from donny t racing in second in third is transact then came american dream in fourth five off the leader lieutenant alexander's come under pressure at the outside of runners and then came coastal path and further back to Bavati river then came euphoric as the homeward bound and life on mars brings them in transact quick to attack down the inside then came Timbavati river silver tycoon up the far side american dreams down the center in the yellow as they come down to the last 200 meters it's transact in front of Timbavati river down the inside then came american dream and twice javen running on down the inside but it's transact and Timbavati river Timbavati river gains the advantage close home and won it second place transact then came twice to heaven and further back was american dream silver tycoon they were further the back. Here the pink sleeves blue cap. It comes home strongly there under Devon Ashby with Transact who was quick to pounce at the top of the straight. Took over the lead but Timbavati River wearing him down steadily down the inside and gets up to win it close to home. 12-2-6-9 the first four across the line. Thanks everyone for joining us out here at Fairview today. It's been a good day's racing here. And we hope to see you on Friday. Tomorrow's Val Racing, and I'll chat to you from the Val. Welcome back, and the value on the day has arrived in the form of Timbavati River. Horse was priced up wrong from the word go. Comes home to win for the Tara Lang stable, and Gavin Fenter obviously involved there as well. With me is Timber. He's collecting the 1,500 Rand for Jackson. Timber, you go and tell Jackson, very well done. The horse looked well, moved well to post this afternoon, and he gets 1,500 Rand from World Sports Betting. Well done. How's the stick man? Gavin Fenter, a little bit of value there, and uh, yeah, didn't like the turf previously, back on the poly this afternoon. Gavin, when studying form and having a look, I kept coming back. Tough race, but never 16 to 1 or 18 to 1. That was priced up wrong. Yeah, this, this was definitely the hardest race on the day. Yeah. But you know, with us having two tracks, we have to try on them on the grass, the poly, and you eventually get the right track. And he's had his two or three runs on the grass, and he didn't really take to the grass mm. as, as, as well as he did, did on the poly. The 1200 and the poly was also a bit quick for him. So we thought we'd try him one more time on the, on the poly from a decent draw. We said, you know, Ashby, just try and get him as close as you can, hold your draw, and uh, with a tailwind, you want to be there, thereabouts. And yeah, now we know that we're going to uh, stick to the poly. We're not going to worry about the grass anymore. And there's lots of lower division races. So yeah, he won a good race, and well done to, uh, to Lorette and to Devin Ashby. Tremendous. Yeah, Devon's excused himself. He's got a flight to catch. Uh, I thought it was a very polished ride because, as you mentioned, it was one of the toughest races on the card. Yeah, one little concern is two starts back on the grass. He hung in really, really bad with Raymond, and we, we couldn't understand why. And when I work him, he does hang a little bit, but not that bad. So it was a big concern. So we said, try and get him to the rail as quick as possible in case he hangs, and he got to the rail, and that solved the problem. And why he hangs, we actually caught, we're not quite sure, but... Yeah, the rail, getting to the rail helped him, and he, he, he won a good race. We're going to get Tara into the picture. She's standing by. Is that a smile or a frown, Tara? Come on. I'm you, sorry. Oh, you saw. She's just leg. had a win. Give us a smile. <laughs> there we go. Good looking lady. And I'm sure Lorette will be happy. You'll be happy. Everybody involved here. Because you know, if you look at the form, always there, thereabouts. This horse, to me, is the type of horse when I play a PA, I've just always put it in because you're going to get a little bit of a run for your money. Polly. Yeah, Neil, let me just elaborate on what Gavin was saying. He mm. started hanging 
quite badly in a race, and this is my job. You know, I've got to find out the reasons from hanging. So I went through him from head to toe, and I found out that he was slightly brazing his um, sesamoids. Okay. So we started strapping him up and putting medicine boots on him, plus bandages. I mean, he looked like a Christmas tree, you know, going <laughs> to the track, but he's a big, heavy horse, you know, and if he smacks his sesamoid, he's going to come down in the race. And actually, Starburst Galaxy used to do the same, that very good filly that we used to train. Mm -hmm. So um, I thought I'd got it right, and he was still hanging. And I said to Dr. Parker the one day, I said, something's still not right. This horse, his last two runs, when I put the saddle on him at the races, he loses his marbles, and there's got to be a reason for it. And Ashley actually found a little nodule just underneath the girth oh, wow. on the right-hand side, so he has now been equipped with a girth sponge. And then this morning, I was sitting thinking about these bandages. I was worried about the poly track. You know, I knew that we told Devin last night he had to go in, keep the horse balanced, because you know, once he's in full throttle, he's a horse, because of his size, you cannot break his stride. If you break his stride, you're out the, out the hunt. Okay. And I was sitting with my head boy this morning, pardon, I said, pardon, I've got a plan with these bandages. And I'm not going to reveal to anyone it was not illegal at all, so <laughs> NRB, please. Um, but I really came up with a really good plan trying to protect his sesamoids this morning and to my staff came and thanked me, so well done. Very well done to you, Tara. Well deserved, well said. All the homework being done at the moment out there and it helped because the only hanging took place today was hanging straight into the winner's box. So it didn't hang around at all. Well done to you, Tara. Well done to Gavin. And thanks to everybody involved today. It was a Tuesday meeting out here. We don't have too many of those, but we really enjoyed it and we hope you standing in the winner's queue. As far as presenting goes, thanks to my co-presenter and colleagues sitting on the left there, that's Nadine, did a sterling job. All the camera crew, the birthday girl downstairs there, Alizel, uh, our director as well. Thanks to Pauline, on-course photographer, and every single person in all the strategic places on the course bringing you the picture. We'll be back on Friday. See you then.